I, again, I know it didn't end like you would have liked, Yair, but it goes yeah. in the books as a W. What do you think's next for you? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's next for me. I'll have to ask the UFC what, um, what they're trying to offer me or what they want to do. Of course, you know, I, I wanted to win this fight the right way to ask for a title shot. If that's next, then well, I'll take it, right? But uh, I, I was talking to Ortega earlier, and I told him we can run it back anytime. You know, I know he hurt his shoulder or whatever. Uh, I'm, I don't know if he was when I was trying to, uh, I was attempting the, the arm bar, mm -hmm. you know, right in the moment because he had his arm trapped in behind on my back, and I was trying to, you know, stretch it and right when i saw him he fall and i was like okay well, i guess he's done. training with luis claudio but uh, he's he's an armbar oriented coach so i mean there was definitely some intent on that submission right of course yeah, yeah. I, I mean i know that's a big part yeah. of his game and something you guys probably trained yeah. a lot this camp yeah of course we, we have trained together you and i we've yeah. trained together we kind of know i mean my jiu-jitsu probably is not an expert level like uh like a black belt i would say you know but i'm pretty good on the ground as well you know so uh yeah of course i was attending that submission I didn't end it up the way that I wanted, but yeah, it's a fight game, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> I mean, one of the storylines that we talked about prior to the fight was the friendship that you had with Brian Ortega. Was it difficult for you to put that aside in order to go out there and fight him the way you did? No, not really, you know. Um, I understand one thing is uh, outside the octagon, we, we can be cool, whatever. Inside the octagon, we, we're warriors. We want to fight each other up. We want to beat each other up until we can't no more right and uh, that was the same mindset for tonight uh, i'm sure he we was going to be a war if it was um, a longer fight or whatever but it didn't happen that way you know i'm i'm glad you know it didn't happen that way because i'm always after my fights i'm always carrying away you know to the hospital i'm all like you know it's, it's bad you know the, so uh, every, everything that i that i asked for uh, was answered uh, today tonight and i'm happy could you feel the energy from this? There was a big Mexican contingency here in the <laughs> crowd in New York City. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll root for you, my friend. Yeah, I have like uh, at least 50 people coming over, you know, from, from outside the United States and from inside the United States, too. Uh, a lot of people came here, a lot of fans, you know. And I, I, it was actually pretty packed since the beginning, right? So I was kind of surprised. Was, you know, in Vegas, the fights start and then people start coming over slowly, slowly. And this time it was full since the beginning. So I was like, I was pumped, you know, honestly. You know, I want to ask you, Yair, you, you talked earlier this week about in preparation for this fight, no sparring. Like you wanted to preserve your head, you wanted to preserve your body. You know, talk to us a little bit about how you prepared for this fight. Like give us a little details on what you did because you're always prepared to go out there and put on a show you're always ready to go out there and put on that vintage Yair Rodriguez performance but how do you prepare to go to war like that without the sparring in the hard the rigorous training that, that really taxes the body yeah well I think I think te technique wise of course you can go ahead and do technique roll around wrestling grappling all that you can do but in sparring I don't think it's necessary to get into contact with uh, somebody else because you already know how to fight you already know the distance you, you we're experts on this game you know we've been many years uh, fighting so my preparation for this camp was was a lot of physical you know physical a lot of uh, mental like just visualizing the fight the way I wanted to be and um, a lot of swimming uh, I had a lot of people helping me out with with swimming and um, running bicycle uh, weight lifting um, especially especially that you know and a lot of technical tactical and, f and physical. And the way you felt in the fight, is this going to be the approach going forward with these fights? Is this going to be the way you prepare? Yeah, yeah, because I, I came I came to this fight with no injuries. You know, I felt great. You know, my, my body looked look good. I feel good. Uh, wake up was easy. Everything was there. You know, I, I didn't need anything else. You know, everything that I needed was there without having to be into contact because, like I was telling you earlier, I was go to the hospital right away after the fights, you know, and I take a lot of damage. You know, for many people, maybe it's not the case, you know, but for me, it's the case every time. So I don't want to take that much damage outside the cage and inside the cage, you know, and carry that for the rest of my life. So I'd rather you save save a little for, for when it's not the right time. So yeah. obviously you're damage free and the results didn't go really the way you wanted them to. When can we expect to see you out there again fighting? Well, I'm healthy. You know, I'm healthy. They hit me like 30 days for like this little cut to heal. So I'm just going to talk to the UFC and see what they want me to do, when they want me to fight. Uh, Alexander Borkolovsky, uh, I think he has a broken hand. He's going to be 12 weeks out, if I'm not wrong. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the right opportunity, you know, to, to one shine. You know, the, the last question I want to ask is, you know, 
you had the performance against Jeremy Stevens in Mexico City, the inadvertent eye poke in the main event, and then this happens. Is there is there just a little bit of frustration at all, or is it just something where you're like, hey, I, I won, it is what it is, and you move on? Yeah, I mean, in that in that specific fight, um, you know, sometimes things can get out of your hands. You know, it's not it's not your fault. Some things that happen in this game, and uh, you know, I know it's not frustrating. You know, honestly, I pray to God, like, hopefully this fight goes fast. It doesn't matter if I lost or if I win. I just want to get out there, uh, out of there healthy. And it's what happened. Not the way I want it, you know. Um, I said it in the interview before. With all due respect, you know, I want to finish this fight quick. So I go home, I can hug my family, and I don't have to be in crunches for the next month or two. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.